Hey y'all, welcome back to Slow Sewing Sundays, um, where I'm always doing something a little different, but today's not a live. Today's gonna be a little show and tell because I just can't bear to work on this anymore on camera. So again, I'm not that far from finishing, but no moss on camera. The next time you see it, it has to be done. And that's just, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm sticking to. So this is kind of non-tripod life. You're up against my uh, Juki uh, sewing machine right now. But today I'll be doing a little bit of show and tell. Basically um, showing you pretty much, I guess, some of the patterns that I have left. And when I say, Okay, and when I say the patterns that I have left, um, I did a bit of purging before the end of last year where I decided that, you know, hey, like, I just feel like, I just felt like I needed, I'm sorry, I just see like so many dust bunnies. It's embarrassing. And I'm noticing them as I'm, as I'm filming, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, I had just gotten to a point in my sewing room, I just felt like, Gosh, I just have so much stuff. I have so many patterns that, physical patterns, that I've collected over the years. I actually did quite a big purge when I lived in San Diego, um, right before I moved here to Washington, D.C. So that was back in 2016 now. Um, I attempted to try to do Amazon FBA, which then ended up being quite the bust. Don't worry about that. Um, <laughs> but basically what I did was I packed about about a hundred patterns and um, sent them to an Amazon warehouse for them to fulfill, you know, took pictures of them or looked them up online, you know, so they would come up and people would buy them, but um, they were priced fairly cheap and I just didn't make any, mo any money at all. I think maybe I broke even, actually, no, I think I ended up actually spending money somehow um, because of weird fees and different things like that. Anyway, I don't I don't want to talk about that part, but I still had a lot of patterns that I was like holding on to. So um it was just the accumulation of, you know, some indie patterns I had bought, but when I basically when I first started sewing and the especially the first several years when I started sewing, um I was just oh, Joanne's was like the only place I would go, and that was back when I wasn't really um ordering fabric online i would just go in person and joanne's was the place to be and i could always get coupons and at that time i wasn't um really thinking about like quality fabrics i was just thinking about fabrics that i could get on sale that i thought were cheap to you know cheap and look nice and i could sew up so in that span though between joanne's hobby lobby like places like that I just, you know, all those good sales, I had amassed so many and um, just didn't really want to part with any of them. Again, I did part with about 100 of them um, in 2016, but it was just definitely time to do some more purging. Not only for patterns, um, I also did the same with fabrics. Um, so I'll probably try to insert some pictures about that or of that as well. I basically put them on Craigslist and they went so fast. I Well, I caveat, I should mention that I gave all the stuff away for free because it was just the point of like, you know what, I want this stuff to go to a like, that's somebody that will use them. They're wasting, you know, precious real estate and just, you know, wasting here with me. At least if I give them to somebody, it, even if they don't use it, it'll be their problem now. <laughs> Um, but sometimes I just need to like clean up and clear my space just so like I can just feel like I can breathe and Anyway, so, um, yeah, so I hopefully by now I've put in like, you know, little pictures here and there of like, you know, stuff uh, that I had given away. And so I'm going to show you the ones that I decided to keep, which isn't many, um, but those are the physical patterns or the paper patterns, excuse me. But I know I have a lot of PDF patterns, but, you know... That's kind of, they're kind of out of sight, out of mind. If like if I don't think about them, 
you know, I'm, I'm sure I have a lot of patterns PDF wise that I've just totally forgotten about. So anyway, without further ado, let me go grab them. I don't need a fancy transition. I'll just go grab them and come back. So most of them are up there. There are a few of them that are So let's see, if I do like a really kind of quick little count, two, three. I would say, at least as of like right here, I have about 20 to 25, which for me, that's really good. Like as far as like really scaled down, I do also have some other patterns that I, that were that are PDF, but I have, you know, I had since gotten, you know, printed. And so, you know, there are rolls. Um, so yeah, anyway. Um, oh my God, my knees. Let me go get a chair. Alright, All right, so now we can do this properly. So again, this video is just basically, um, just I'm just sharing some of the patterns that I decided to keep um and most of most of them are indie patterns I have found that the longer or uh, as I've just been sewing and and all that type of stuff I just really have um I just really prefer indie patterns these days um McCall Simplicity I will rarely buy those um, so, and those are the ones I mostly have because, you know, again, I was purchasing, most of my pattern purchases were on deep discount from like Joann's and places like that, um, Hobby Lobby. Um, but like, there are very few of those that I decided to keep. So, um, you may recognize this pattern. This is Friday Pattern Company. Actually, I have two Friday Pattern Company. So this is the one that I really ended up not liking on myself, um, but that's okay. I'm still gonna keep it. <laughs> um, this is the Saguaro set. Um, I think it's a fun pattern, great for like, you know, this time of season or the year. Um, okay, let's do that. Palisade pants, another one that um, <laughs> I didn't really end up liking so much, at least not on me. I think they turned out like the picture. I think by the time I, I fitted them, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't my best. Um, I didn't like it so much. This is the Clava. This is actually a quilt pattern. So this is the first quilt pattern I've ever bought. Still haven't made this quilt. Um, the variations I thought are really cool, like the baby size actually, well, I think is really, really super cute. Um, and these other ones are, are very nice too. But again, haven't, haven't even touched it. Kilo wrap dress. Um, yes, this is a beautiful pattern by named. Um, I really did like enjoy the version that I did many years ago um ended up taking it on a trip to vietnam if i can think of or find the link because i think i did a video on that a long time ago i'll put it up here um this is a megan nielsen pattern a swimsuit that i have not opened or tried yet well i have i have opened i think i always kind of open the patterns but I haven't tried it. Ooh, the Jessica. One day, one day. Um, I just, I want to make a blazer so bad, yet I don't really want to make it if, if you get my drift. Um, these are, actually, I can go into some. 
yeah i'll go into some that actually are some leftover of like mccall's and those type of things that i decided to keep so this is a vogue pattern um i hardly make for myself so the idea of making a jacket pattern for my roommate Ooh, i don't know if that's gonna happen this is yet another this was um these are some that i bought online i'm sure i'm sure this was years ago joanne or something but i know i bought this one online uh a vogue pattern of just different swimsuits i've probably only made like one or two swimsuits um in my life uh yeah so it's uh, this is an old Berta, another dude pattern which I just, I haven't made any, any of the guy patterns. Um, yeah. Um, yet another one. This is definitely really old, but a good basic that he may never see. Um, and then this one, I don't know. For me, this is kind of prized. This is, I remember talking so much, giving so much praise to, to this Paco Peralta. I mean, have I made it? No. <laughs> but, um, this is the one that sold me when I looked at, there was a McCall's video. And when I looked online, it, it's just, it was just stunning. And I still feel the same way. Um, of course, I have nowhere to go in this. But I think also, too, um, Paco Peralta uh, passed away uh, maybe about two years ago now. And I don't know. Between, like, just really feeling like this was a beautiful pattern because I, I bought it when he was still with us. I don't know. This is kind of almost sentimental. So one one day, um, this is a closet core, which this does closet case still, um, but a pajama pattern actually um, a hand me down from a good a good another sewing buddy that I have. This is the Sandhill Sling, which I made this pattern twice. I I made this for my parents actually. Um, when they came down to visit me the first time in DC. So that was probably like three years ago now. And I thought theirs turned out really cute. There were, par there were parts of that pattern, though, that I was a little like, ooh, maybe this is kind of a little difficult, but it's it's a good pattern. Um, and it, yeah, it's really cute. This is the Celine uh, skirt. This is actually a pattern, a Colette Patterns. This is a pattern that I had wanted for quite the while. And the funny thing is that, you know how sometimes you just really, really want something, and then when you get it, you're just like, yeah, I'll get to it. <laughs> So this is definitely one of those. This is another hand-me-down. The same uh, sewing friend that gave me the uh, this one. Uh, she uh, passed this one down to me as well. Forever grateful. Ginger Jean, um, another closet core pattern. Um, where are all my true bias patterns? Whatever. Another time. I'll think about that another time. So I probably have like at least... 30 like pat paper patterns but anyway the ginger jean i made this once i made this in a um in a jeans workshop um run by uh taylor what i i i can only think of her last name um but ladybird anyway um she came through um a sewing shop in my area in Old Town, Virginia, and we made these. Uh, my gingers turned amazing. Actually, everybody's was fantastic by the end of it. I always tell people to um, this is just gonna be a very quick video because I have to go to work, but um, these are the jeans. I did finish them this morning. Um, spooty. <laughs> They're very, very 
form fitting. Um, actually just kind of done this morning. But yeah, I think they turned out really, really good. Um, you, you see me inside of them. They, uh, they're quite tight, so, and it like took me a second just to tuck it in and all that type of stuff, but um, yeah. Um, it was a really good class, but um, that, I, whatever fabric, whatever denim that she had us uh, choose, there's no, there's definitely no give in it. So it's like, you know, it's like a, like a traditional jean pattern. And then it's got that indigo where like, I've washed these jeans so many times now, but like, even if you like keep kind of touching them and you go wash your hands, you'll kind of like still see a little bit of blue rinse. So I don't know. Somehow they seem to like just like super authentic and cool. I will say though, you know, cotton shrinks a little bit. And then, you know, I, this was going on two years ago now. So I have gotten a little bigger, but I, I squeeze myself into them, but I probably should stop. <laughs> and just make a new pair but I'm so proud of them and I feel like that is a pattern I'm sorry that is a project that I've made that even though even if I'm you know no longer the size that I can wear them I'm pretty sure I will just keep them because that's a just super proud make for me burn side bibs by soho seven this pattern, I loved this one so much. Um, and I actually did give away my my bibs because I had just outgrown them. They're too small for me now. So I was like, I will pass this on to someone else that who can who can really wear it. So whoever ended up with them, you're so lucky. This um, Walden by Colette Patterns, and this is before Colette had, what is the pattern? She has like a, a, a monthly sewing, every month I think she has like two patterns. It's like a, it's like a pattern subscription service. This, this was, you know, before all of that. Um, so this was one of the OG originals. Um, but this is like a unisex um, Albion, what kind of, a classic duffel style coat or jacket. You know, one of those things that I told myself I would make and have not and did not. Um, oh, there's a true bias pattern up there, probably the one that I'm working on. This is actually another... McCall's pattern but this one's different to me because this was an uh Etsy purchase and the reason why I it's uh I bought it for this one right here um I don't know it gave me like those 80s vibes the the pattern says to put shoulder pads in there I was not going to do that but I kind of like the dad fit of it um and yeah actually what made me get this pattern was uh why can't i think of anybody's name oh what's her name she just had a i just said her name jessica um jessica the one that that the blazer was named after um her you know she her makes are always amazing and she had a shirt like that and she had bought like a, a retro pattern and so i was like i'm gonna do the same 
True Bias um, Marlowe sweater. I have a lot of True Bias patterns actually. Not all of them do I have in print, um, but just because I've done quite a few pattern tests for her, I, you know, I definitely have a lot of her patterns, but they're mainly PDF. Um, the wrap dress, actually, I, I had a, a physical one. I actually did end up giving that one away. But I think this Marlowe sweater is uh, very nice looking and one day I'll make it. And this, the Blanca flight suit, I did recently make. That was the one where it was like the checkered denim and all that type of stuff. But you know what, the funny thing is, I know I'm missing some patterns. Um, but that's okay, it doesn't matter. I mean, basically this is such a downsize from what I had from going from well over 100 patterns to downsizing to about, let's say like 25, 30. Um, so this is fantastic. Um, also, even my downsizing of fabric, I still have plenty of fabric. That, that isn't even all of it. Um, when I did give away all the fabric I did, I had like, I was also like a, a scrap, you know, like bag that I was giving away. Of course, nobody wanted the scraps. Everybody just wanted like all the good stuff. That's fine. So I'm still motivated to do something. Um, okay, I say motivated. Motivated may be too strong of a word, but I'm still convinced that one day I will do something with those scraps. I don't know why I always feel compelled to keep scraps. I just think they're useful. They could be used for something and you could just make beautiful things with, I don't know. So anyway, yeah, so I will stop there. But um, thank you for checking out. Oh, hold on, yeah. I knew this big one, the assembly line. This is the this is the other pattern that I told myself that I lied and said that I was gonna make for this past like fall winter season, and I did not. But you know, fall winter will come back. So the assembly line. This is the first. Um, pattern that I've ever purchased from them. I kind of like the big envelope, you know, type of feel. But the hoodie dress, which um, I think I had mentioned in another video previously that I, you know, I usually go on like Instagram and try to check out, you know, like, okay, how did everybody else's turn out, blah, blah, blah. This pattern, mm, it, it doesn't flatter everybody. I think just because it's just so big and kind of sacky and then it has a hood on it, you know? But there was one person that um, she wore it and I think maybe because she also made it in black and it was like how she accessorized it, it was like actually quite good. So anyway, I'm losing daylight. Um, and yeah, I don't really have <laughs> much of anything else without um boring you folks but yeah hopefully we'll make some headway this week um again i think honestly these videos just the idea of at least touching base and checking in with like so doing something like sewing related like once a week is keeping me sane because i'm pretty busy um but i have to make time for this we all have to make time for this so Honestly, you watch, you know, you watching anything like this, you're making time for you too, okay? <laughs> as far as like, you know, your craft and, and for the love of sewing and all that type of stuff. Anywho, that's pretty much all I have. Thank you so much as usual for, you know, stopping by, popping in, and um, I will see you on the next one, hopefully with a finished sundress or whatever it is that I'm working on that I'm tired of working on. Okay. All right, y'all. Happy Sunday. And most importantly, happy sewing. Bye.